finally we are leaving. Oh, show loud! Unfortunately, both vomited. Storm coming, coming. We hit 50 knots of wind. Oh, buddy, you're hungry. Strut, as it's called on the hunter, has snapped off of the boat. What are the monkeys trying to tell us, Tomoko? El Salvador and then uh, the good to go the bar and then we just head into the bar and across the bar and then head into Costa Rica after over two months and staying here the very nice country but time to move on what do you think starting it's never rocking because um going inside is easier than outside it looks like because the waves are always going this way and we're going to go this way so we're kind of like fighting the waves, so I'm a bit nervous. I see. Is that nervous, Captain? Actually, no. The waves are super calm on the way out. We've timed it pretty well. I'm pretty confident. We have Bill and the pilot here to guide us out. All good. Good times. See you soon. I was hoping we would get some action because he said that it was going to be pretty relaxed but then two big waves came and right over the bow splashed up against the, the windshield. Excellent. See you later. Hi everyone. We are quite nice sail. The uh, speed on ground is 6.3. Ocean is quite good, not so wavy, but after quite a while sailing, so unfortunately both vomited. And look at him, poor guy. I took seasickness medication, maybe he, he should do. Looking nice. Hi, we've been nice sailing and then uh, comfortable, but it's Storm coming, coming, and thunder. We saw the lightning, and then it, it's now rocky. So we last week took the storm again, trying to storm it. Sail and then put up a stay sail. 
then I realized that the storm was looking quite strong. So I took down the main, and I'm so glad I took down the main. We hit 50 knots of wind. And it was 35, and then it hit 40, and then 45, and then 50. And I've never sailed in 50 knots of wind. We had water just coming straight over the bow. Uh, I lost both my light covers for the starboard and port side. Um, the wind ripped off one of my steps on the main sail. My radar reflector is hanging by one rope. So I'm hoping that it stays. I'm not going to go out there right now. And uh, our dinghy that on uh, the starboard side broke. And now I'm going to just ratchet strap it up. So we really got hit pretty hard last night. Uh, the crew was pretty beat up. You know, we all had to stay in the cockpit, and uh, I just had to fight. Autopilot didn't work, so I had to just uh, steer it and fight it. But great experience. But I'm still a little shaken up by it. Like it was, uh, it was like, wow, this is very powerful. So. We've been up until this point to about maybe 35 knots, maybe 38, 30, 30, but uh, not, not 50. That was, uh, that was a record for me. So I, I don't want to go above 50 if I can help it. <laughs> I went into the wind, but it was hard. So I was trying to just stay in, into the wind. That was the goal. Um, yeah, so now i got repairs to do again when we get to Costa Rica. Good times. So we have some stowaways that have decided to join us on our trip to Costa Rica. They were a mom laid a couple of eggs in our mast and of course, unfortunately, she's not with them. But we managed to save them. We don't know what kind of birds they are. We know nothing about them. Apparently, it's a girl knows. The update. <sighs> this guy's not eating food. And he tripped. Oh, the update? Oh, wait, okay, 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 okay. Make sure it's the one that's not eating. Yeah, that one didn't eat because I missed aimed him. What about Fluffy? He wants more. No, I think that's good. That's good for now. We've fed them lots. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead With everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds Hi everybody, we sailed to Obanaitas And then uh, finally arrived Costa Rica, howling monkeys Looks beautiful Try to kick you while you're down 
They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're worth We've arrived at Santa Elena and we're checking out the estuary here, or the bay. Uh, we thought we saw a crocodile. We know there's parrots and howling monkeys. Crocodiles, I think, I heard there are crocodiles here, so you have to be careful when you go up into the hills as well because there may be ticks. What are the monkeys trying to tell us, Tomoko? Our skeg, or our strut as it's called on the hunter, has snapped off of the boat. So this is what holds the propeller to the boat, which means it's running loose. And the fear is, is that the prop could come out, the propeller shaft could come out and sink the boat. Can't run the motor. We're okay. I mean, it's dripping a bit. We're going to be fine. Obviously, it's a bit nerve-wracking because we don't have a motor now. So, but luckily, we have a sailboat, so we can sail. We're in this beautiful space called Elena, Santa Elena, which is just gorgeous. But unfortunately, we have to leave early because of the skeg issue. Tied the dinghy up to the side of the boat. Check that out. We have ditch bags prepared so that if we do lose the propeller for some unknown reason, we can ditch out. We got the dinghy ready to go, life jackets, and we're clinging to shore. But we're really hoping that that doesn't happen. Obviously, crew's a bit nervous, feeling confident. It's all good, so we'll keep you posted. Good times. When I get lucky, the both love cuddle with Sakura. Feel safe and comfortable. So far, the sale has been fantastic. We're doing between six and seven knots, about nine knots true and about 19 seems to be from behind it, fluctuates of course. We are going to be uh, turning this uh, point into the peninsula and we're doing really really well here so far. We're all wearing our life jackets because after the prop situation, the prop comes out, I gotta go down there and bung it. Uh, hopefully the boat doesn't sink. If it does start to sink and I can't control it, we've got the life jackets on, we've got our ditch bag ready, dinghies on the side, we're all good to go. Good times. No good time. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of the way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we can be okay Okay, okay, maybe you can be the change I need today I 
promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong Memories with Sakura So when Sakura was two she sucked her Nana's toe and I asked her, what did Nana's toe taste like? What did Nana's toe taste like? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Well, first you said it was it tasted like a regular toe. Yeah, and, get it off of me, get it off of me. And then you said it tasted like her carpet. <laughs> She's gonna suck her toe to try and remember what her Nana's toe tastes like. Okay, go. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I need help. I'm going through hell. A fake like I'm fine, but I know you can't tell. Like nothing I've done. My mind overwhelms. I think that I'm broken, but I hope you can't help. I know I'm not perfect, but someday. We've arrived at Playa de Coco, although we're not actually at Playa de Coco, we're at another anchorage. We've contacted five companies, we're going to have to get the strut forged, made in the USA. We're hoping that one will be ready by next week, but we've also been told if that's not the correct one, it will take eight weeks. Shipping to Costa Rica is going to be challenging. Have to hire a private company, have the strut sent to Miami, then Miami couriers it to San Jose, and then we have to go and pick it up. We have a three month visa. We haven't got the part. We're gonna have to go to San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, and extend our visa. These guys are waving at me. <laughs> I think that we like this, having our boat rock. We've strapped the cable through the zinc hole, put two rope clip fasteners on both sides to hopefully stop it from wobbling. Tied it to the tow rail on one end and I put a pulley on the other with a ratchet strap to try and strap it down. We can adjust it, loosen it, tighten it, do what we have to do. It is not ideal, but it's the only solution I have come up with so far until we can get to a haul out to replace the strut. 
We have options at marinas. We have four marinas, two to choose from in Costa Rica and two in Panama. If Costa Rica is too cost prohibitive or they just won't do it, we will have to go to Panama, which is, means we'll have to sail further with a busted strut relying only on our sails, our dinghy motor, and our engine if we have to in an emergency. Not ideal. We're making the best of it, but it is turning into a fiasco, and I knew it would be. We're in the most expensive country in Central America, Costa Rica, the rich coast. Costa Rica itself is fantastic. We love it here. It's very clean. We are in a very nice area, so it's hard to get a true representation of the country, but from what we've seen so far, it's very nice. We've been driving on the streets. There's no garbage on the streets. We were so used to garbage on the streets in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador. The beaches, super clean. You do get the garbage rolled up because it's the ocean but there's somebody there to pick up the garbage on the beach. There are trash cans everywhere. Check-in was free. We went to the police station, which also has the immigration center. From immigration, we went to the port captain. From the port captain, we took a bus. It cost $2 to go to Liberia Airport. And we went to customs, showed them the paperwork along with all their registration for the boat and our Zarpe and everything else that we had from El Salvador. Then we went back to the port captain, showed her all the documents, and she gave us an intermediary national Zarpe, which means that we are able to go to multiple places and we don't have to get a new Zarpe, according to this port captain. So we're hoping that's true. Sometimes you hear stories that whenever you go to a different place, you have to get a new Zarpe, and sometimes they charge you for that. It cost us nothing except for $4 for the bus. Of course, I took the family, so it was $12. Not a big deal. That This has been the cheapest check-in in Central America as well as cheaper than Mexico. We've been given three months on our visa, where Mexico gave us six. El Salvador was unlimited, but we paid a dollar a day. Apparently, when we leave Costa Rica, we will pay $29, I think. And I don't know if that's for the boat or if that's each. I'm not sure. We'll gladly pay it upon departure. And I heard the checkout process is also pretty easy. Unfortunately, we don't know what we're doing until we find out when the strut can arrive. And after the strut arrives, I will phone the marinas. I've sent them an email telling them our situation. Not one marina has replied back to me, which is normal for Central America. Shipping the strut's going to be expensive. The strut itself is $600. We did get it down to $399, but that won't come for 12 weeks. So we're waiting for this eight week one, which is four weeks quicker. We'll pay the extra 200 for that, US. Shipping, I'm thinking five to $600, probably, I hope. Not more than that, could be a thousand, I hope not. Haul out's probably gonna be about $700 for haul out. Being three or four days on the hard, I'm gonna hire people to do it. So probably you know, 120 for being on the hard. Probably another thousand in labor, 500 for miscellaneous. We'll have to stay in an Airbnb, maybe 70 to 100 bucks a night. So it's going to add up. We also have other repairs that we have to do from the storm. We have to buy new lights. We have to get our dinghy davits welded. I have to fix the step somehow. So we've got other, oh, and our hatch snapped as well. So I'll show a picture of that. So that just snapped. I think a rope got underneath it and snapped. So we've had bad luck when it comes to these repairs. Boat life is all about repairing everything. So we're not surprised that something broke. We just were hoping that we would get off lighter than we did, as this is going to be a big expense. We plan to stay in Playa de Coca area until we find out what's happening. And from once we get everything arranged with the creating the strut, finding a marina, getting it sent, then we'll be able to know what we're doing. As far as places go, I don't mind being stuck here. It's beautiful. We have Playa de Coco has everything you need. Supermarkets, gasoline, diesel. The marina is right here, Papagayo Marina. That is got diesel and gas, very convenient. We have friends there now. We have also friends across the bay. So we have people here that we that we know as cruisers. We're very thankful for that. We miss everybody that we've met along the way. We wish you were all here, but that's cruising life and I'm sure you're having a great time and enjoying yourself as well. Okay, big love to everybody and thanks for watching.